All right, um, hi guys, my name is Jerome and welcome to another Laravel video. This video is just part of a video series about Laravel uh, regarding the creation, uh, reading, updating, and deleting data from our database. All right, so uh, going back to our develop, uh, developer's uh, environment, so uh, we know already that this data are being dynamically generated from our database because in the last video, we have created this uh, the functionality of this create new post form. Uh, it allows the user to uh, make a new post. For example, new post. Uh, uh, it can say example, and then the content is here. Uh, whatever the user want to type in here, and then uh, click submit. And we have a very simple notification: uh, saving data successful and when we go back to our uh, page okay in the blog now we have here the content that uh, we have just typed all right including the date and time that it was uh, created but uh, right now we, we don't we don't want this uh, presentation all right so maybe we're, we will maybe we will use a table for now all right it's supposed to be uh, something fa uh, better but this is just a demonstration of the crud uh, functionality so uh, I'm we're going to present this data in a table all right so we're going to do that here I'm gonna say table uh, that table the, the class table for bootstrap and uh, yeah, T head table row and then th we can say here title maybe let's use the bootstrap class called the head uh, dark all right and table uh, strip okay so yeah this is this is not uh, a beginner uh, tutorial guys uh, yeah you need to have a background on a PHP and or, or object oriented programming so yeah it's yeah we now have the title let's copy this and then the content okay it's just a table header when we refresh the page so we have this table and content maybe let's wrap it up with a container div that container got this closing tag at the bottom and for the body okay and for the body we need the row and then table data and then yeah, let's just test if it's working. Let's just copy this. Refresh. Okay, now we have data. So it has a text with a shadow. Maybe let's get rid of the bootstrap styling shadow. Let's just comment that out. All right, yeah, that looks better. It's okay that this one is white because it's going to be displayed on the table anyway. All right, maybe let's target that. Hold on, guys. Uh, we're gonna be targeting this and change the color to white, and so that we can make use of the shadow. All right. I put this bold, bold as well to make the text uh, larger. I think I, I did not include this in a recording when I typed this uh, bold uh, style. So I'm going here to our, going back here to the uh, index at bladed page P. I'm going to target the table data all right maybe table at TD or yeah let's try table and then TD let's see if it works all right custom uh, dot table and then TD all right you can say color equals white let's put important hopefully it works yeah it works so we have the data here let's get rid of this bold all right so now we have that yeah it's looking better so let's continue uh, to the index that blade that php under post uh, we can now uh, generate the table instead here uh, we have to generate it right over here so we cannot copy this i believe let's just manually type it here so if all right if count we're doing the same code here all right if count and then post greater than zero 
and then you can have for each all right posts as post all right and we can copy the table row the entire row over here okay just like that and echo out all right echo out the post the first one is title and the second one of course is content right content all right let's see if it works all right uh, yeah it's working now we can get rid of this all right we're not including the created ad just to make this simple so I'm going to delete this okay now it's deleted All right, I was checking my, I, I thought I forgot to press the recording button. So yeah, refresh the page and now we have this table and we, we need to uh, give the user a button here uh, that says edit. All right, so let's do that. Maybe in the header, we can put here uh, action and uh, here anchor tag that says edit. Okay, let's use the bootstrap class btn small btn small and then uh btn let's say info okay btn btn small let's say primary oh hold on got a wrong spelling here class okay refresh the page okay now we have a button here hold on let me just fix my screen so instead of primary how about we use a uh, warning so that the button is yellow okay and yeah I think we're good uh, let's make another button for the meantime let's uh, put a hashtag there we don't have a link yet so let's put a delete and this is btn danger all right here it's view let's make this a success so that it will uh, be green okay all right that looks awful <laughs> all right so anyway uh, maybe I'll put a width for the content width I think this is a deprecated uh, HTML uh, code but I'm gonna use it anyway let's see yeah I think it's working the width but it's I, I believe it's deprecated okay um, let's put a padding for our buttons padding 2 or margin margin 2 okay because I want them to be more or less separated to each other okay there you go edit delete and then view all right uh, yeah that doesn't look good a lot but yeah for demonstration purposes I think we're, we're good here so yeah refresh the page yeah we're not focusing on styling uh, we're focusing on functionality at this point and it's already eight minutes I hope we can finish this uh, update so now the user can click the edit button all right sorry guys I need I'm, I'm kind of bothered about that black uh, shadow in let's target that how about we say uh, btn hold on btn okay we can say table and then btn okay I'm going to change the styling for the shadow custom you can say table and then btn so all the uh, we're targeting all the buttons under the table I think the anchor tag right let's say color let's make it white let's see if it works did it work no let me check index okay class btn 
All right, you know what, guys? Let's forget for now. Let's fix that later, okay? Let's finish the edit functionality. So, yeah, for the link, uh, all right, for the link uh, for the edit, where is it? Edit. I think I'm tired already. <laughs> Index.blade.php. When the user click the edit button, we need to put the uh, route there, all right? So, we can, let's check the PHP artisan route list okay let's maximize th let's maximize this where are you route list edit edit okay the, we have here edit okay so we can say a uh, post and then the id the id is the the one that we have in the database which is post that id just like what we're doing here okay we're echoing out the ID in the, the database and then forward slash edit okay so that's where we, that's what we're trying to do and now it's uh, using the method called edit in our post controller so let's find the edit did I say update for this post yeah but I think we we will we will only we, we will only be able to finish the edit part maybe in the next video the uh, the we, we can finish the up the edit and the update method is related. Uh, I was expecting to finish the entire update functionality, but it seems that we can only finish the edit. Yeah, but we're going to be talking about the update in the next video. Let's finish this uh, edit functionality. So for the edit, we, we, we know that we're already able to uh, pass the ID in our index.blade.php right over here. So in the uh, post controller, we're going to capture, all right, catch the ID right over here. All right, so we can say post is equal to post and then find, uh, all right, I'm missing a column there. Find whatever the ID that was, whatever the ID that was selected by the user, the post, okay? Now we can say, uh, uh, yeah, I think that's it. We can now return view and then the post, the edit that blade. Yeah, I'm already tired. Why I'm typing blade? So it's under the post and then edit page. And we can say uh, with, I'm going to rest after this, guys. I've been working the whole day. Uh, before I created this video, I was practicing some coding. I was learning some new technology another programming language i'm not gonna tell to you what pro, what programming language it is and another framework uh, so that we will not get left behind and catch up with the uh, latest trend in technology so yeah so we have created here an edit functionality we're catching the id and we are using this method find it's basically an sql query using eloquent i believe eloquent right and then we are, we are now returning the post uh, variable and now we're going to display that in our edit uh, page okay so in our edit page we don't have uh, code yet so let's copy basically in the edit page is the same with the uh, create that blade php uh, the only different is uh, here when the user click the button submit we're not going to change it to update Maybe the let's make this a info instead of primary. Uh, it should now go through to update uh, method, okay? But unfortunately, I think we, we will not be able to finish it right now. This video is going to take long. Post that update, right? And the method, the method is put. You can see right here, right? We put it here, put. Okay. And we need now to display the value of uh, the post that was selected by the user. So we're gonna say we're going to say a uh, post that title in our title. Remember that we are now we are we are already able to capture this uh, post in our post controller right over here. This, this is the variable that we're using right now. Okay, we are using it in our edit that play that page be right over here so i'm gonna do the same thing with the text area okay paste it right over here and then say content 
all right and here we are say editing post okay method post uh, okay I think we're good I think we're good yeah so let's see if it works so uh, here we go to blog and then the user will click edit edit oh we had we got an error illegal offset php post 5 all right so yeah i think we yeah it seems to be we have a problem to fix <laughs> all right so let's see if we can fix it in this video it's 15 minutes illegal offset let's try to google this stack overflow no this is laravel Okay. Ah, all right. Yeah, I think I have an idea. Yeah, Stack Overflow is there's you can you can get a lot of help from Stack Overflow. So, uh, it it looks like uh, hold on, we need to fix something here in our post controller. Uh, okay, edit ID. Let's let's see. I want to see if, uh, if the link is working. If the user clicks this, what the URL we get? Post, and then the ID, and then edit. Okay, it seems to be right, but let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think this is the problem here. Okay. So blog click edit missing required parameters for route post update all right in our edit that bleeded PHP let's get rid this ah oh, yeah I'm missing one parameter here okay one parameter because the post that update should have a parameter just like this all right we need to put the ID all right, it's, but it should be not the title, not but the ID. All right, so let's see if it works. Or now you're saying me making mistake, and I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to correct it. I'm not going to edit this video, so be it. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we can uh, correct our mistake. Blog. A user will click the edit. All right, it's working. All right, there you go. So as you can see, this is the content. I, I let's 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 select another one. For example, this test post. That's the title of the post, and then this is the content. Laravel mixed easy. When the user click edit, now we have the title test post, and then the content. All right, let's go back. Yeah, we have the update button here, but it's not working yet. Well, we only manage right in this video to to create the edit functionality. Okay, e the, the quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog, and then post one. Click edit. Post one and then the quick brown fox. And the user can now change the title and the content. But the update uh, uh, is still not working. So so basically, guys, what we did is the first error, hopefully you were uh, able to take note of that. Um, you can uh, use the Stack Overflow. Uh, as you can see, it's very helpful. All right, That was a proof that the Stack Overflow is very helpful. If you have a problem with your code, you can just search in Google and Stack Overflow will help you out. So basically, the first one, uh, the first uh, error that we have encountered is I forgot to put this uh, parameter, all right. And the second one was in our edit that played at PHP. I also forgot to put the second parameter for this route list because the the post that update in in post controller should have uh, an ID, should have an ID. But the problem was. I did not put that second parameter, the ID parameter. So that was the error that we have encountered. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me making mistake and correcting it in, on the process. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the important thing, guys, right? If you make a mistake, uh, um, the, what matters is you're able to correct it.
and I'm not editing this video and maybe some people will enjoy uh, make it uh, entertains them if somebody makes mistake and correcting their their mistake <laughs> what am I saying bye guys that's it that's it see you in the next video